Hi, so I have a problem with fungus gnats and I'm going to use beneficial nematodes to hopefully get rid of them. I don't know, I'm going to try it. It's basically this microorganism that lives in the soil anyways, or naturally. I mean, it's not in my soil clearly because I have fungus gnats, but it gets rid of fungus gnats and some other stuff like hive bead oils and stuff like that, but um, I'm going to mix it up and I'll go through that and we'll see if it works. I'll definitely keep you updated on that. Alright, so this is the one that I got. Um, and they actually have a chart here, so if you have other problems like flea beetles or... But yeah, like I said, I have not tried it yet, so... But this is the catalog for... So this is the smallest package, and it's actually for 1.6... 1,600 square feet, which is not on my way less space, but I'm just gonna just read it equally and hope for the best. I hope that that's not like something bad. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm also just like experimenting with this. So it says to put water in this and then agitate it for 15 seconds and then strain it and get rid of the gel and then the water uh, makes it into a five gallon bucket. And so I've prepared a bucket that I'm gonna put that in. So now I've set up a strainer and this uh, to catch all the gel and all the little nematodes are going to go into the... See how the gel is staying in the strainer. We want all that water though. You can see the liver. The water actually has tiny things in them. I can't really tell, but it's just kind of looks like some, some little dirt particles or something, but those are the nematodes. And I'm gonna mix them in the larger bucket that you know when you were kids and it was those little kids that you could get where you put the eggs in water and it would like get those little, I totally forgot what they were called. But yeah, that's what it reminds me of. So I'm just gonna mix. All of them. It's a protected area. And over here, and I just had so much rain build up, and I used the system where I layered wood chips and soil for my compost, and it totally fucking grabbed all of the moisture. So now I'm just gonna put these on here and hope for the best. Do your work, my friends. Alright. I had to wait too until it like dried out a little. So these are the worst areas. I'm putting it everywhere. Alright. So. Hoping this was everything. So it says on the packaging to thoroughly apply it. But I think I'm definitely applying too much for one area. Plants right here. Have their soft peppers. Tomato plant. Here's another tomato plant. Just a little bit. Another one. Okay. To retain them and protect them from the sun because they really don't like being in super hot weather or super cold. So. But this straw will just help them retain the moisture for two weeks for sure. That's really important. And also for we're going into the summer. So now that I have put the straw down, I'm gonna deep water everything just to kind of set the straw down a little harder, I guess. Um, I don't know if that makes any sense. I'm just kind of like guessing that that makes a little bit better. I, I was like trying to do this before rain, but I just feel like at this year, time of the year in Chicago or climbing and the way that rain works, it just like never really works out. So I didn't want to like leave the nematodes for too long. Just gonna 